who were built in a lab somewhere, and they just get good on their own. And it's so impressive to see somebody like that because it's not about necessarily about like the the cultural like fusion in that region. It's like, oh, this is Sir Merritt's. You know? like, this is the guy this that the made guy. it out. And and sh shout out to West Virginia. Maybe if I go to West Virginia, I find some people that play like Sir Merritt's because it's I don't possible. know how they, they play. They got, uh, they got Z Hammer there. Um, Kai, TTV Kai 12, I think is from there, mm -hmm. Falcon player. But none of them like on the level of Sermaris. Yes. Solid players. Sermaris uh, also, I think, moved to Ohio recently. Yeah. But um, you were mentioning it before that he beat, before I rudely interrupted you, yeah. uh, Full Bloom beat Mango. Beat Mango. Yeah, imp amazing win. Like, Mango top three right now? He's number three. For context, right, Mango is one of the hardest people Armada has ever played. Like. He would annihilate Armada. Mm -hmm. He is, like, in the last year, has beaten Triff with multiple secondaries. Yeah. Like, it is really, really hard for yeah. a Peach to beat Mango, and Samaris did it. Yeah, Lod got close, but I don't think Lod's ever done it as well. I think Samaris might be the only non-Armada Peach to do it in quite some time, I if not ever. I think Lod did it at Pound. Oh, Lod might have done it at Pound. Okay, yeah. I know he lost it at SmashCon. Yes. Um, in, in winner's finals. Uh, but yeah, Sir Maris beating Mango is so impressive. Having wins on Sunsei, just having a very, very uh, stellar resume. Beat the past Salt. Few months. Beat Salt. At the same tournament, they yeah. beat Mango. And, and Lod also has had a lot of trouble with Salt. So the fact that Sir Maris can beat these players that are Peach Slayers, ooh, it's right. really good. I didn't like, know. Here, go ahead. <laughs> nice. I am, um, in 2021, because um, I talk with uh, Kyle Crudo a lot, yeah. Josh Crudo, and Wally. And both of them, in separate occasions, told me that Sermaris was one of the best Peaches in the world. Mm -hmm. Back before anyone knew who he was. And they were like, this guy is a freak. He's so good at the game. Yeah. Like, a freak isn't like, he's freakishly good at the game. And yes. that if he travels, he'll be one of the greatest to ever do it. Yeah. And, and he did it. I mean, he's, he's very, very solid. Um, shout outs to... Uh, my big house run. Because where you beat Sermaris. <laughs> where I beat Sermaris, and I love when I beat somebody and then they have a great season, because I'm like, yeah, they're the GOAT. And I beat them. <laughs> yeah, you are, that, your big house run, like, high key was like so insanely good. Yeah. Sermaris plus uh, Ginger plus Magi plus Mad Tyro, who Mad Tyro. just retired. Shout out to Mad uh, Tyro. Unfortunate. He was so good. Yeah, so good. We love you, Mad Tyro. Um, but yeah, I mean, Sir Maris, a very solid player and had a lot of like stuff in the Donkey Kong matchup that I think many Peaches could like potentially take from him. I saw a lot of him absolutely decimating some Donkey Kong um, on YouTube before I played him and I'm like, I'm gonna get bodied. <laughs> and then I played against Peach for three hours and I was like, okay, I'm fine. <laughs> and you were fine. <laughs> uh, fine. Turns out a few hours of warm up can make all the nerves go away. It's true. Um, shout out to Dark Gen X, warming me up for JJM. At Collision. At Collision. That was a very fun set. It was a. Uh, it's always fun watching DKICs. I love that matchup now. It's I used fun. to hate it. Now, and now I'm like, huh, oh, yeah. It's not too bad. Yeah, I hate Sheik ICs way more than Dr. Kong ICs. Yeah, that matchup. It's hard. That's a little sinker. <laughs> uh, Someone's oh, got a bomb. No. Bomb in the venue. And uh, another cool thing about this matchup. Oh, we, we're talking so much about Sir Maris. Froyo is another MDVA uh, local. Okay. Ooh, tried to do a double flip cancel there. Um, but there's so many neutral interactions in this matchup. Yes. Uh, it's why Peach players will fangirl over this. It's why many players can appreciate this matchup. Match Some players will not, <laughs> unfortunately. But the um, I remember because the uh, TO of the Montreal locals is a Peach player by the tag of Kyle. His name is Kyle. He's from Brazil, but he goes by the, the tag Kyle. And I remember in the VIP room at one of the Canada Cups, I was watching him play Armada, and he was like taking Armada to like last stock and second to last stock a bunch of times. And I was like, dude, you are so good at this game. And he just told me that, no, it's just the nature of the matchup. Because you can't zero to death Peach at yes. all. There's very few like real kill confirms, and it's just like neutral hit after neutral hit after mm -hmm. neutral hit. So it's like one of those rare matchups in Melee, the Pop Ditto being another one where it's like mostly neutral. Yeah. And I think that's really cool because it's like fighting game-esque. Yes. Until um, someone holds a stitch. Yeah, I, I mean, it's honestly even more so than a fighting, because like, let, let's say a normal matchup, let, let's say a Fox Ditto, right, has, we'll, we'll, we'll give it the upper end and say like they have 12 neutral interactions, like three a stock. Yeah. Um, 
uh, assuming like an average combo of like 30%-ish. See in the post-game stats. Yeah. <laughs> the Peach uh, Ditto could have like 40, if not more. Every single interaction um, is going to be a straight hit. And then Peach's advantage state against herself isn't super strong. So you're going to have like this very, very like slow paced, but almost like uh, nuanced way where the peaches are like floating each, like, versus each other, trying to call out a drift in, float in, uh, kind of trying to cover space. Sort of like that, that forward air trying to cover a double jump in. Um, so like 40 plus, right? At yeah. least 40. And she um, also has very uh, distinct resources. Mm -hmm. Like we talk about resources in, in, in different matchups like double jumps. Peach has her float and she has turnips. So there are distinct like advantage and disadvantage spots based on whether or not Peach has a float or has a turnip. Yes. And you can like see, oh, Peach lost her float. Like Pink Peach lost her float there. Maybe Froyo decides to run in for a dash tech to try to punish that. Oh, just drops the stitch, no! That's funny. <laughs> so Maris says, I don't need it. <laughs> Or maybe it's he doesn't want him to get a catch up of it. Because like if he yeah. recatches the turn up, he's got such a lead now that that That's might true. be the only differentiator. Yeah. Uh, differentiator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I like the differentiate sh short there. Like, <laughs> oh, is that what the Zoomers are saying now? <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. I mean, such a solid lead. You just lost it again. And I, I think like you don't really have to take the risk. Shoutouts to Triff, who anytime he plays most matchups, he's playing for the timeout. And maybe Sir Maris taking uh, not exactly a page out of Triff's book, but maybe a few words. Just a couple of words. Maybe a sentence or two. Just reading a poem from it. Yeah. Um, it's not plagiarism. Not plagiarism. Nobody can do what that man does. He is um, so hard to play against. Yeah, but top ten in the world. I mean, there's a reason that he's so good. It's the and Iron Wall of Europe. It's it's the discipline, for sure. <laughs> man, man, Triff was playing me with Falco and trying to time me out. I'm like, dude, what are we? He <laughs> timed out Wally in a friendly with Falco once. Yeah. He's built different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's built different. I also like how all of these angles, when uh, whenever Froyo tries to land, Samaris will a lot of the time go out there and then try to cover the landing with an aerial of his own. Mm. It's just like building that extra percent up. Yeah, oh my god. Oh, he, he read that Froyo would run up shield and raw grabbed it. Oh my god. Like, do you know how hard it is for Peach to get a grab on Peach? Peach yeah. is in the air so often. <laughs> that was a crazy read. Samaris just playing Froyo, and if I'm Froyo, or if I'm any Peach in this matchup, this is good, like, match to study, because it's just neutral. Yeah. Like, anything that Sir Maris can do, Froyo can be like, yeah, I should probably start doing that. Yeah. <laughs> and you also can, oh, oh he's trying style. I don't know, I don't know about that one, though. <laughs> the, uh, the side B, and then riding up the wall, like, like Jet Set Radio style. Yeah. The melee schmoven is so nice. It is. It makes it's one part it's one of the things that makes this game magical. Yes. Like we really can't replicate this movement in any other game. Uh okay. Coverage. Will Froyo get anything? Oh! And that's interesting. An air dodge is that the new sauce? I don't know anything. What, the about air dodge? The air dodge on the stage, yeah. Um some peaches have been doing it. There's also like the, the, the demon angle where you air dodge on the stage and it turns into an invincible like pseudo ledge dash. But uh, I don't think anyone's doing that one besides uh, Ferocity from Chicago. Yeah. Oh? I know there's some cursed uh, rectangle peach possibilities. Yeah, uh, Ferocity is a box peach. Okay, <laughs> of course. All right. And forward throw will send Froyo to the heavens. A dominant three stock. Yeah. We'll take game two and send Samaris through winners. I mean, shout out to Sir Maris. <laughs> Wearing the same shirt that they had in their top 31 photo, is I it believe. Actually, that's yeah. so 